Hello everybody, it's me, it's Anne, I'm back. Here, let me get rid of these before I blind people with the ring light blinking back at them. Um, recently, several people have been doing a realistic or what's in your makeup bag kind of um, tag. Not really a question or, um, you know, what you do with what's in your makeup bag, but more what people would have in their makeup bag if they weren't doing YouTube, basically. Um, Georgia Harris and Lacey from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips did a collab that kind of started this off as to, you know, I started collecting makeup the way I've been doing and showing on YouTube when I started YouTube. Up until then, my collection was nowhere near that heavy, especially not in brushes. I have been collecting brushes because if you try to do several videos in one day, you really need more than one set of brushes, even if you've got, you know, a color switch thing. It just, and this is my homemade color switch. It's a little magnetic tin that I picked up at um, Dollar Tree and a Hair Pony Donut. And they work great. There's two donuts in the bag and you know, just switch them out when they get really filthy and wash them. But I went through and thought about all the type of stuff that I didn't have, didn't use, didn't carry around, and started thinking about some of my smaller makeup bags that I've got stuck in a drawer. And I said, okay, yeah, let's, let's see, because I'm not going to have all of the, the palettes that I've collected. Now, granted, I do not have a huge number of palettes, but at this point, I've got three that don't fit in the storage drawers I bought, and one of them's the um, Morphe 35M that I was gifted with, and two of them were just too big for the drawer. The rest of them that I've got in the drawer are things that I literally have collected in the time since I started doing YouTube, which was August last year. And I've got a storage unit drawer and a half. I wouldn't say it's full, because it's not, they're not, neither one of them are crammed. And, but there's a whole lot of makeup that I have currently in this storage unit that I didn't necessarily keep before. I mean, before I had maybe one or two foundations, and that was rare. And that was usually because I was getting low on one and bought the new one before I completely ran out. I didn't have tons and tons and tons of palettes. And I didn't have a bazillion brushes. I mean, if you're only doing your makeup once a day and you've got a color switch, you don't need that many brushes. But then now I've also got not only the powder stuff, I've also got the cream stuff like I'm wearing right now. So you've got different types of brushes. I didn't really do that much of the cream stuff before this. I'm enjoying the heck out of it, but I didn't really do it. So what I did is put together with one of my makeup bags and just pulled stuff out of my collection of stuff for what I would normally have had before this. Now, this makeup bag, it's fair sizable. And yes, it says meds on it. I was using it for medication during a trip. So yeah, that shows you how often I don't use a regular makeup bag anymore. This one has got, you know, little pockets for this, that, and the other. And in it, I've got, you know, I've got 
this little section up here with got one of the little kabuki brushes and some moisturizers and that kind of thing this segment down here has got more brushes it flips up and then there's all the rest of the stuff now until i got started doing some of the bare mineral stuff that i did prior to getting into youtube that's where i discovered brushes or at least the face brushes for the most part the eye brushes i had started picking up when i was a bit younger but my husband was working at a theatrical supply so i started picking up brushes then at least for doing my eye makeup and such and definitely for putting powder on after i you know to set the foundation because some of the first stick foundations that i ever had were not like this one which is a wet and wild some of my first stick foundations were mayron and benai and, and and because I, lo I found I love the stick foundations, and I was actually able to find a better match in those cream stick foundations because of the yellow undertones in this very pale skin. So, yeah, I had the professional theater makeup artist do my matchup, but I got in the habit of carrying a stick foundation, which is why this is in here. The other type of or what foundation I would have had is something like this. This is the e.l.f. Basically, it's a BB cream. It's a tinted moisturizer. It's got SPF 20, aloe cucumber, vitamin A, C, and E. Just a bare tan, sort of a little tint to it. You, you don't really even see it much. And it's like, okay, but it, it's got a little sunscreen in it. It evens your skin tone out a little bit. As far as I was concerned, that was plenty. It's like, I was good with it. And then I'd have my little powder compact. This is again a little elf. I'm trying not to kill you with the mirror. But, you know, powder, little puff. You know, this one's a little sponge instead of a little velour thing. Basic powder compact little blush. Well, this one's kind of, this one was listed as a blush, but I use it for a bronzer because I'm pale and it's brown. A um, couple of eye pencils, one with a sharpener. And, you know, this this one, it's like it, in the brown, I used it as, as both eye pencil and brow pencil. And I've got a little brush in here that's got the spoolie on it that's part of my little brush collection a a mascara this one's the elf but a mascara concealer in case i had any spots and it's like this is the wet and wild i've had the elf concealer i've had you know whatever was handy the lipstick collection was real slim I've got this, which is basically a lip balm from e.l.f. It's kind of just a brownie nude kind of thing. It's a wonderful thing. It's really, it, oh, nice minty flavor. Just feels good. It's also got a serious SPF rating. It's a 15, so, you know, you've got some protection for your lips. The other lipstick I was big on was, you know, L.A. Colors. Dollar Tree! Dollar Tree. Now, I didn't, sculpting and, and doing the contours and all that, I didn't think about it. Unless I was actually going on stage, which I have been. I was a belly dancer. And yes, I was still heavy as a belly dancer, okay? Our troop name was Hips Accepted. There was a lot of us that were all big women in this troop. We had a few small women in this troop, but they were the rare ones. Um, yeah, my, the, the leader of the troop, our instructor, six foot tall Amazon of a woman, 
gorgeous, incredible dancer, but she was a big woman, still is. I miss you, Bambi. Anyway, um, I didn't, like I said, I didn't really do any of the, the contouring and the sculpting. Da, 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 da. It's like I, it, everything was dead simple. For the most part, I didn't use primer on even my eyes. It just, you know, I put the moisturizer on, usually something like this. You know, this is the, the Olay age defying with an SPF 15 while we're at it. Um, put that on all over my face and then put whatever foundation on all over my face and then go from there. Now, one of the eyeshadow palettes that I put in here, it's, yes, I've got a lot of e.l.f. stuff because let's be real, e.l.f. is not expensive. And I am all about the not expensive, especially when I was just picking up, you know, a little bit of makeup now and then. It's like e.l.f. and L.A. Colors and Wet n Wild. That was my stuff. Hello, Kenny. Anyway, I've got this one, which is the Clay Eyeshadow Palette, which is just browns, okay? I actually believed at one point that thing about if you've got hoodie eyes and you're of a certain age, you really need to wear brown. And I'm going, all right, brown. It's got a little shimmer in here there, but brown. All right, we're, we're, we're good with brown. And then I got a little better, but still, because I'm, no, I'm not the least bit rebellious about rules. Not me, ever. No, no. Anyway, I found a color mate at a little store that was a dollar. And that little palette gave me quite a bit of room to play. There was some basic stuff. There's a little bit more color in here, but, you know, it fit in the makeup bag. It would have fit in my purse because at the time I was, you know, doing most of this kind of thing, I was still loading about half the stuff that I use into the makeup bag to carry in the purse to carry around in case I needed to touch up. Setting spray is my friend. And then, again with the Dollar Tree, L.A. Colors was the next one to give me some more things to play with. This is called the L.A. Colors Bold. And I'm going, it's all pastels. The heck you mean bold? Because it's got like yellow and, and, and greens and bold and it's, it's pastels. <laughs> Anyway, basically, that makeup was all I really needed to go to work, go out for an evening, whatever. I mean, I could be going to a party, or the only other time I got any really inventive makeup during my earlier times with makeup was if I was going to, like, a science fiction or fantasy convention. And then I would get the stage makeup. Because doing cosplay, which back then was just called costuming, cosplay, you need some really intense makeup on occasion to go with the clothing. I mean, you can't dress up as an elf and then not do the, the eyebrows and the big wing and the big ears that you get from Moochie to, to, to glue on. Um, dancing. We did some elaborate face makeup, really elaborate stuff, especially around the eyes. And we were wearing bindies and, and little marks on the face to make it look like tribal tats on the face and that kind of thing. We were doing um, American tribal style. So we were going with that aesthetic. The majority of the eyeshadow was brown, but it was a deep brown. And we all had the same base colors. But how we applied them and how we did our um, eye lines and that kind of thing was completely individual. We had a very simple palette, though. It was a beige and a brown and a deep red lipstick. 
And once you get started, though, because you could take that eye line and go way down under here and do things under here and do a real thick eye line way out here and put little dots here and there, that kind of stuff. I mean, if you've ever looked at Mistress of the Dark Elvira up close and personal in the face, if you look at her lower eye line, it comes nowhere near her actual eyes. It's way down here to make her eyes look like they're this big. I mean, that, that's a, a classic technique for making your eyes appear huge. And we would do that kind of stuff. And, you know, the bendies were bright. And the, the this shirt is trying to escape. It's just a little cami shirt, so it's trying to escape. But, you know... We would go nuts with the jewelry and jewel tones on different parts. And it was just an amazing and fun thing. But I only needed a makeup case about this size to do that stuff. I had a bigger jewelry case. But I didn't need a lot of makeup to do the dance makeup. I didn't need tons of makeup to do the cosplay stuff. All I needed was stuff that I had and, wanted and, and know how to use it. I would add a few things for cosplay, you know, like some of the really intense colors, like, you know, pick up an, one of the, the water-based FX pans and use that. Or some of the other cream colors that were very, very intense to do shadows and lights and that kind of thing over the face and, and sculpt and that kind of thing because that was for the costume. Everyday stuff? No, it just, you, you slap some color on so that you, your face isn't blotchy. Put something on to define your eyes a little bit, slap a little lipstick on so your mouth doesn't look all cracked and dry and go to work. And that's what I did for years. So, you know, the only time I did anything radical was if I was doing something that called for radical. You know, going to a party, going to the conventions, that kind of thing. You know, dancing. There I could get radical. No, my hair didn't look like this all the time when I was younger. I had to work for a living. Would you have bought a house from a realtor that looks like this? How about getting naked in front of a medical assistant who's setting you up for an in-office procedure that looks like this? <laughs> or would you be going, yeah, no, do we have anybody normal around? Anyway, picking up the other stuff that I picked up to do some of the YouTube stuff. Yeah, I have to stop and think about it and remind myself that I didn't always have all of this. I didn't need all of this. It, it never occurred to me to have that many palettes. I don't know how many I have right now. I know it's under 100. I'm way under 100, even with the little cheap dollar store pieces. I don't have that much. At some point, I will do a, show everybody what my collection looks like. I currently have four, count them four, of the little divider trays that have spaces for you know, lipstick, nail polish, whatever, that I picked up at dollar store. Not all the spaces in it are filled, and I've got my entire lipstick collection in it, in that little setup. It's not enormous. It doesn't need to be. Make yourself happy. If you're happy with the materials you have, nobody says you have to buy this stuff. It's like if I was still just, you know, like I was in August of getting started. Yeah, these are not the world's brightest colors. They are not intense. 
But if I wanted to do something colorful, this is what I would have picked up. You know, this has got some colors in it. I could have done something besides just brown. And I could do it without having to break the bank. Didn't need to break the bank. I haven't broken the bank yet. I shop like a demon looking for bargains. I don't go crazy. I don't get the big name palettes. I just don't. I don't have that kind of funds, and I don't go looking for them. I go looking for palettes I think are pretty. Anyway, that's my realistic makeup. And if you happen to like what you saw and want to hang out some more, welcome to the party. Give me a thumbs up. Hang out. Subscribe, ring the bell if you really want to know when I'm putting another bit up. If you had a good time or a laugh, let me know. Leave me a comment. Until the next video, please stay out of trouble. I don't have bail money. Be good.